I was in a big room full of people and I asked, can we fly it upside down and look at the ground? <laughs> and some of the scientists said, maybe the, the off the program people said, no, you cannot fly this observatory upside down. And I said, well, I said, what I'm here for is to ask challenging and confronting yes. questions. Um, now I want to go back to, you mentioned something that was a 0.6 Kelvin. Is there a physical limit to which we could possibly cool things down to? And as I ask that out loud, I hear myself thinking, well, there is a theoretical physical limit and there's a, and an engineering limit. How would you, how would you address that question? I mean, how it's, right. there must be a limit because if you have a piece of matter somewhere, you've got a temperature above absolute zero. So there's gotta be something there. Right. But mm -hmm. how, how do you fill that in? Well, so temperature is a shorthand way of referring to the total amount of energy stored within mm. a solid object in the motion that it has in various ways. So absolute zero is therefore defined by something which has no energy and has no motion of any kind anywhere in it. It's easier to think about energy in things like gases, like the air around us, mm. because you can sort of sense that air is always moving. The particles of air are always bouncing around. Mm. And so you know that they have motion, uh, but that's true of all objects. The thing about temperature is that it's better understood not as a linear scale from zero to something, but mm. as a logarithmic scale, which is really how most of nature works. Mm. So rather than going up by units of one or two, you go up by units of 10 times or one tenth. And so you could, you can make a, a scale of any kind and say, well, room temperature is 300 Kelvin, for instance, or if you want, your room temperature might be 72 degrees Fahrenheit, whatever the number is, it mm. doesn't. And then a natural thing would be, well, what's 10 times that temperature? Well, so if you're at 300 Kelvin, then 3000 Kelvin, mm. that's the temperature of a very cold star, a red dwarf, you can just barely see it with, mm. with your eyes. What's 10 times that? 30,000 Kelvin. That's about the bluest star you can make. Mm. A serious okay. kind. Of, that's probably not even that hot, but roughly that. 